fake money, fake teachers, fake assets. In 1971, President Richard Nixon took the U.S. dollar off the gold standard, turning the U.S. dollar into fiat money, government money, fake money. In 2008, the world economy crashed when fake assets, fake mortgages, and fake financial experts led us down a path to ruin. Think about this. Why do schools choose not to teach us about money? Why are 78% of all Americans living paycheck to paycheck? Why are students staggering under a trillion dollars in student loan debt? Because a fake world makes the rich richer and the poor and middle class poorer, and that's exactly how the government wants it. The only way to protect yourself is to learn how to separate the real from the fake. Go to richdad.com to get your copy of Fake by Robert Kiyosaki and learn how to spot the manipulation of reality we live with every day. Don't get fooled again. Get your copy of Fake by Robert Kiyosaki at richdad.com. That's richdad.com. This is the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. Here's Robert Kiyosaki. Hello, hello, hello. It's Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. And today we have a very important show for all of you entrepreneurs and social entrepreneurs and or people just want to make a few more bucks. It's a very important show. And of course, today's program is about social media. <laughs> One of the nastiest words in the news today. I mean, God, I can't believe how much misinformation is out there. You know, I mean, I just, we just interviewed Roger McNamee who wrote the book Zucked. And he, talked to, he talks about how Facebook gets paid more for misinformation than for real information. So, you know, it's a very important show because if Facebook is now taking a hit, what's next? What's next is the question. And today on the Rich Dad Radio Show, we have what's next. Very, very important for all you entrepreneurs, especially you entrepreneurs who are entrepreneurs on the fly. It's, it's sitting in your back pocket or your purse. It's called your cell phone. And you can make money from anywhere in the world, talk to everybody throughout the world. You don't need to call the New York Times or Forbes or Fortune Magazine, you know, you are. You know, if you're not making a lot of money today, it's because you're like me, you're obsolete. <laughs> you know, I'm more than obsolete, man. I am beyond obsolete, if you can get that. So we're talking about social media today, which I know nothing about, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna be listening like you and learning because I'm one of the old guys out there. So today our guest is Zach Benson, and he's a founder and CEO of Assistagram. Oh, Instagram's Assistagram. I don't even know what Instagram is. That's how bad I am. I mean, I'm trying to figure out tweeting. You know? I mean, if the president tweets, maybe I should tweet too. But as a real estate guy, I don't need to know any of that stuff. Just send me my checks. But anyway, it's called Assistagram. He's the CEO of it. To back me up, we have Shane Coneglia, who is the president of the Rich Dad Company, and of course, my sweetheart, Kim. So it's a very interesting show for all you entrepreneurs or wannabe entrepreneurs, the guy sitting in the cubicle right now going, what happened to my life? How come I'm stuck behind this little cube and everybody else is cruising around the world making millions? So for those of you who are stuck in that cube, this show is especially important for you. Comments, Kim? Yeah, well, I, this is this is going to be a great show because I get to learn too, right along with you, Robert, because, you know, no matter how long you've been in business, if you're new to business, we've been in business with the Rich Dad Company 22 years, and every company you got to market, every company you got to sell. And so for Robert and me, the tools have changed so dramatically that, you know, we used to, we used to make a little cassette and give it away for free if you'd give us your name and your address. I mean, that's how far back we go. I'm so right? old, I use pay phones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now there's all these new tools of social media, of Instagram, of Facebook, of everything, and we're going to talk about that today because I don't understand how it all works, and I don't understand how you make a lot of money or you sell or you market yourself through it. So that's what we're going to talk about. So it's, the new tools are in town. And to back me up and come up is Shane Knigley, the president of the Rich Dad, and he's our techie in the company. He's taken uh, Richard out of the agrarian age into the information age. <laughs> so Shane, would you introduce Zach, but also why, as Zach Benson being founder and CEO of Assistagram, why is this important to Rich Dad as a company? Sure. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Kim. Um, it's good to be on the show today. This is always fun. So Rich Dad is always searching 
for the latest and greatest in terms of the ways, to Kim's point, the way we can market and promote, but most you, importantly, communicate to our community. Because you have to keep looking, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it never ends. Now, now it's- just so fast. Yep. It's, You're obsolete so quickly today. Yep, daily. You have yeah. to be on top of, on top of not just communicating to your community, da- communicating to your community daily, so that five times fast, or also just understanding what these new tools are and anything from a new rule or new algorithm that Facebook or um, <laughs> Instagram puts in place all the way to the latest and greatest new tool that, that all of a sudden starts popping up like the, the crazy success and climb that something like Snapchat had, for example, where all of a sudden everybody starts using it. So at Rich Dad, we, we try to stay on top of that. So when we were searching for a new partner, um, Zach came across to us and uh, one, he's a Rich Dad fan. So that, that definitely helps. crossed that, that always up helps. the list. Yep. He, he, he knew of Robert and Kim and Rich Dad. And then secondly, we were looking for a new way to get our message out for domestic growth. That was a big opportunity for us. We wanted to strengthen our relationship with Facebook and Assistagram. And we just don't have the relationships that somebody like Zach does. And lastly, Zach helps us um, with the newest tools and newest technology that those platforms put out that there's just no way for us to keep that talent in place and to keep up with it. So Zach fit all that, all three of those criteria. So we're happy to have him on board. And Zach travels the world assisting older companies, which are two years old now. <laughs> <laughs> or younger. To, to, stay, to stay current. So welcome yeah. to the program, Zach. Welcome, Zach. Thanks for having me, guys. Super excited to be here. So and how about a little bit of background? I mean, how'd you get into this business? Yeah, so I, you know, I was actually born in South Korea, then adopted by my parents in Iowa. So I grew up there, um, pretty much a quiet boy. I was very shy. I had a speech impediment, couldn't say the letter R until I was in my twenties, um, and t- and so school was re- really hard for me. It wasn't a fun time until I found dance. And so I'm telling you that because the, sa- the same guy that got me into dance also got me onto Instagram. Are you are you like that guy who jumps around the stage? What's his name? Yeah, uh, Sai. Or Sa- Korean yeah. dude. Boy, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gangnam yeah, style. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Gangman style. Exactly. What, what do you guys call that stuff? Yeah. K-pop. 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 Yes, K-pop is taking over the yeah. world. I was recently just in Mexico and Nicaragua, and people just came up to me and started speaking in Korean, and I was like, "Whoa!" Like. It's just it's worldwide movement, but um, that that's how it all started. So well, you were even on Dancing with the Stars. Right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, well, so Big time. I was. Uh, Big time. So no people on there, and then um, I was participant on So You Think You Can Dance, and then after that, just like my my career started to take off, and I taught dance all over the world, and you know, teaching is really my passion, and um, you know, that's why I got. That's why I got so interested in Instagram because it became a way um, for people to promote their products and their services and to just get their story out there. And so nowadays I teach a lot of the the major uh, brands and companies in the world from Daniel Wellington to Ritz Carlton to a lot of the top marketers in the world. Um, so Facebook owns Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so what's so what's the difference in, for a guy like me? What's the difference in Instagram and Facebook? Well. Yeah, that's a good question. So Facebook actually acquired Instagram, um, I think it was like 2012 or something for a billion dollars. A uh, long time ago. And uh, now it's over a billion active users. There's over 600 million people actually using Instagram stories every single day. So if you've ever heard of Snapchat, pretty much uh, <laughs> Instagram made their own platform called Stories, and it's now taken over Snapchat in the world. Um, it's only but, been within the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, the, you know, the biggest difference is just um, Instagram. Like, So everybody is always consuming content. Everybody is always scrolling and consuming stuff. Um, so for Instagram, people can just go to this platform and see people's personal experiences um, from their pictures and the videos that they post up. So it's just a super easy way to just consume their content. So you go yeah. to companies and you work with them on how to best utilize Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and all these things to market and sell to their communities, correct? Yes, yes. That's exactly what we do. And we, we mainly focus on Instagram uh, just because it's the most engaging and powerful platform in the because world right now. Because it uses pictures? Yeah, because it's uh, picture and video content, like, on your phone is the best way to reach people. And so a lot of these companies that are selling products on Amazon, they're now like moving over to Instagram just as another platform to make, uh, to sell their products. So how would a Ritz Carlton utilize Instagram? Well, 
Ritz Carlton has properties all over the world. Um, we and, like Ritz Carlton. Yeah, very nice it's a properties. great, very, very <laughs> nice hotel. <laughs> and you know, most recently we created a video for them in Bali um, to promote, promote their Bali hotel. They have two properties out there, um, and basically their goal is to just get more uh, worldwide travelers coming in, into their doors. So by helping them create an awesome video, promoting that video on Instagram, we're able to target their ideal customer um, with that video to actually come and visit that hotel in Bali. So, yeah, so that's why there's... We've been there. It's a beautiful (laughs) hotel. Yeah, we have been there. Have you? Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Yep. That's amazing. It's gorgeous. You guys travel a lot, too. We do. (laughs) Oh, that's an understatement. (laughs) How long, long, for example, I can just one quick question so Robert and Kim understand this as well as as our audience. How long are the average length of these videos? Well, it's the goal is to just pique people's interest, you know, get them to uh, click, watch, and then from that to click follow. Um, so these videos, they, they, you know, anywhere from 15 seconds to a minute long sometimes, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. even longer. Instagram just came out with what's called IGTV, which is essentially what YouTube is. So you can do longer form uh, content. So they're competing with YouTube? Yeah. So they're taking on everybody. So you just said click to action and then click to follow. So the goal is is you click to take action, they watch the video, yeah. but the goal then would be that they go to the Instagram Bali Ritz-Carlton page or Ritz-Carlton yeah. page and start following them. Yeah. And then they can communicate directly with these people, correct? That's exactly. the goal. Exactly, and then they just get... Um, they just see more content from that hotel. And as you know, it just takes multiple exposures before somebody buys something high ticket and you know spends a lot of money and takes a trip. And so once they're following them, they see that Ritz Carlton Bali's hotel's content every single day, and it just gets them more excited to and, visit. And what makes a video or a photo go viral? Everybody wants their stuff to go viral, or they want to hit the masses. What, yeah. what, what, is there a formula, or is there a key to it? Yeah, that's a good question. Like the, the way that we're able to make things go so viral is because we have such a huge uh, network of over 56 million of people you know, different accounts. And so one way that we're able to make it go viral is just base. And this is this is a tip for anybody who's really on Instagram. Um, we get a bunch of our like travel accounts. For example, if we're trying to promote a hotel. We get them to like and sometimes comment on our uh, the video that we want to promote. And when you get a high quality, like a high amount of high quality likes from really huge accounts that have millions of followers in a short window of time. This kind of creates a viral effect in the algorithm so that it boosts you onto the main page that everybody sees when they open up the Instagram application. And once you're on the main page, um, millions and mi- millions Very of people see Very much like it. Facebook. Yeah. Right? So, so we always wanted that front page, right? So yeah. it's just uh, kind of an engagement like algorithm huh. trick by... Um, and people have yeah. such a short attention span that if you get them on that yes. that page, there's a better chance that you have that they'll follow that relationship. So it's deeper. almost like a headline on yeah. a newspaper, right? Very, yeah. yeah. So they hold you. You walk by, buy the newspaper. That's all you read is the headline. Yep. What's guys? Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. Our guest today is Zach Benson. He's a founder and CEO of Assistagram. And Shane Coniglia, he's the president of Rich Dad Company. And we're talking about so- how social media and how it influences how you make more money with Assistagram versus Facebook and Instagram which is confusing to me. But anyway, (laughs) when we come back with with, uh, Zach and uh, Shane, we'll be finding out how you too can make more money using Assistagram, which is different than Instagram and Facebook. Any comments, Kim? No, I I wanna find out the future. I wanna find out Zach's opinion the future of Facebook. That's what I wanna know. That's how I wanna make more money. (laughs) (laughs) We'll be right back. You're listening to The Rich Dad Radio Show with Robert Kiyosaki. What is your number one expense in life? Your number one expense, it's taxes. And I've asked the question is how come there's no financial education in school, but why isn't there education on taxes either? You know, they tell you to save money, which is stupid. They tell you to invest in the stock market, which is stupid. But what they teach you about taxes? So here we have Rich Dad Advisor, Tom Wheelwright, we're talking about his revision for his book, Tax Free Wealth. Welcome, Tom. Thanks, Robert. So what's the tax-free wealth about? What what's different this time? It's a rev- revised edition. Well, so what we did was is we ha- this is the first major tax reform we've had in 30 years. 
2017. Right. Was 86 was the last one? 86 was the last one right. back when I was in Washington, D.C. So many guys got wiped out because of that tax change. <laughs> they did. They yeah. did. It wiped out an entire industry, savings and loans. This new tax law is just as big, but in a very different way. It affects different industries. You know, the tax law is always a series of incentives. And the question is always which incentives and which ones apply to me. And so the, the key to revising tax-free wealth was, what is it, what changed so much in this new tax law that we can absolutely take advantage of? I mean, seriously, the amazing incentives. For example, I mean, the bonus depreciation, for example, for real estate is unbelievable. You buy a, a, a million dollar apartment, get a $300,000 reduction or more the very first year. So if you want to make more money and pay less taxes like Donald Trump and myself, get Tom's book, Tax-Free Wealth. Don't be like Charlie. Charlie is that do-it-yourselfer who does himself in. Do-it-yourself is good for tile and grout. It is not good for asset protection. Charlie thought he'd save a few dollars forming his LLC online. With no guidance, he did it wrong. When he sold the property, he lost thousands and thousands of dollars. He did himself in by trying to do it himself. Don't burn yourself. Use Corporate Direct to set up and maintain your LLCs and corporations. Corporate Direct is owned and operated by attorney and rich dad advisor, Garrett Sutton. Garrett wrote the bestsellers, Loopholes of Real Estate and Start Your Own Corporation. He is Robert Kiyosaki's attorney for asset protection. He and his team will do it right. Visit them at CorporateDirect.com or call 800-600-1760. Mention Rich Dad and receive $100 off your formation fee. That's CorporateDirect.com. CorporateDirect.com. It pays to listen. Now back to Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad Radio Show. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. And once again, you can listen to the Rich Dad program anytime, anywhere on iTunes or Android. And all of our programs are archived at richdadradio.com. We archive them because we are a financial education company or entrepreneur education company. And one of the ways we learn best is via rep repetition. So if you listen to this program again, especially if you're like an old guy like me, doesn't know how to get into social media, this program be worth listening to again. And you can, you can listen to our program at richdadradio.com. All of them are archived. Listen to this again, and then get together friends, family, especially business associates, and listen to this program on Assistagram. So our guest today is Zach Benston, founder and CEO of Assistagram. His website is www.assistagram.us. And our other guest is Shane Conigli, the president of the Rich Dad Company, of course, Kim and myself. So this is my question, because I have no idea what Facebook is. That's how bad I am. I don't think I've ever been on it. And I've tweeted once. I got in trouble for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll never good. do that one again. <laughs> don't hit send. Don't hit send. <laughs> don't hit send. I hit send. I got in trouble for that one. And also uh, Instagram. So I'm so far behind the times. I'm not, I'm not even old. I'm obsolete. I'm antiquated. So my question today is, you have... Instagram, Facebook, and a sistogram. And what Zach Benson is, he's hired by companies such as, you know, Ritz Carlton, which is a little bit bigger than the Rich Dad Company. <laughs> and they have great staff, very smart people. They can pay high, high salaries and all this. So why would a company like the Ritz Carlton hire Zach Benson, founder and CEO of a sistogram? And what do you do for them that they can't do for themselves? That's the question. And how do they make more money because they pay you money? Yeah, I think the reason why they they hire us is because I've I've actually organized really huge influencer marketing campaigns for really big board of tourism's like Dubai Board of Tourism. So we, I we do one quick thing. Yeah. Just explain what an influencer is yeah. real quick. So an influencer is just basically somebody who has a big following and has a lot of influential power. Uh, to their audience. So, you know, a classic example would be some, like nowadays would be, you know, someone like in the fashion industry, like Kim Kardashian, right? And she does all of these different giveaways and these contests for people to gain followers. 
And Bernie and, Sanders, of course. <laughs> yes, and Bernie Sanders. Beto <laughs> <Sanders. laughs> O'Rourke. Yes. Go well, Bernie. And an influencer. And be... AOC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they got huge followers. I mean, yes, you've also anyone. got to be careful of your influencers because, yeah. like, with Robert, if Robert were to say, oh, I recommend this investment, you got to be really careful because he's got a lot of influence and people will yep, yep. flock to that investment. Yeah, that's why I wanted to yeah. talk about it a little bit because it, it, it's quite powerful. Yeah. So if you have no followers, don't bother with the system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you got other problems. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and so I think Ritz Carlton took notice of that just because we helped Dubai Board of Tourism organize their 2020 campaign. So they're on a on track now to do over 20 million tourist visits by 2020. And so what we helped them do is basically organize what's called an influencer marketing campaign. And so they wanted to target 10 different countries. They're like, we want people from these 10 countries to come and visit uh, Dubai. And so what we did is we reached out to influencers, celebrities, Hollywood A-listers in these countries, and we basically brought them over to create content, to make videos and to post it, post their experiences on their Instagrams, right? And so... So you guys make the video? Yeah, so we those influencers, those people actually made the video. Um, oh, they make the video. And then they post it on their profiles, their walls. And so, uh, you know, Ritz so Carlton, if I wanna, if, yeah. If Dubai thought I could influence tourism to Dubai, I could cut a video here saying, yes, I went to Dubai and it's a great place. Yeah, so they'd fly you over. They'd fly out probably business class, first class on Emirates. They'd mm-hmm. even, for Shoot, some of these influencers, <laughs> yeah, they actually hey, get paid to post. Yeah. I flew, I flew to Dubai on Emirates. They have a shower. Yeah. I never took so many showers on a, <laughs> on a plane in my life just because I could take a you shower. You have on a new a plane. career here. That was very smart marketing. <laughs> yeah. I, I should have had a video of me taking a shower. That would have, <laughs> no, that would have no, been no, I don't think a lot so, of people. Robert. Well, you could have been in your mid, put a little shower cap on your robe. <laughs> so, so, so back to your question, I think a lot of these. See, the Ritz Carlton has multiple di- multiple hotels all over the world, and for them to actually crack the code on all of this new age digital marketing is almost impossible. And so, what we do is we actually reach out to some of these other hotels in Asia and um, you know Europe and actually help them grow on grow on their Instagram accounts. Just because a lot of these companies they just hire people from you know like Harvard or like top schools right and they think that they know everything about this instagram and di- all things digital marketing but the thing is is that in life it's like there's very few people and companies ca- that can just be like oh like good at everything right and so when they hire like one agency they expect them to do everything they expect them to be amazing at everything and that's why a lot of these companies are running into problems is because they think that this one company or this one person can do Everything Every, everybody should listen to yeah. to what Zach is saying. It's one of the biggest mistakes that you know Kim and I have seen. You hire these so-called college graduates to do your social media and your marketing for you, and they're terrible at it. They had Braves. I mean, they they brought in this oh, big high-powered ter- ter- yeah social media social company. media company, and we, and we lost business because yeah. they were so bad. They they don't they don't they didn't really understand the customer. And they didn't get the spirit of this Braves Island where Kim and I have a house in South Carolina. They really missed the spirit of the island. Why are we there? And so they had all these kids who can't afford to live at Braves Island promoting Braves Island. You know, and they and they're all smart kids from top schools, but they really had no idea who their customer was. I mean, and so that's why they bring you in because you find out who their customer really is. Yeah. We yeah we do our research and we figure out who they're really trying to reach, and we reach them through uh, videos and ads and by growing their Instagrams and by growing their communities by growing their tribe, and then getting their um, their videos in the right people's and the, and the hands. And Ritz Carlton yeah. definitely has a different target market than let's say Best Western. Right? <laughs> yes yes. <laughs> so I'm a Best Western fan. <laughs> yes. So let's let's talk about the smaller entrepreneur. Yeah. Okay. So here's a small entrepreneur. They're they're starting out, or they have got a small business up and running, and they're like, well, here's Instagram, and I can't. I, in their minds, they can't afford to hire an assistogram, so they're going to do it themselves. Yeah. What's the pro and con to that? Well, the the pro, I mean, I mean, ever, nobody wants to spend yeah. money, right? Especially yeah. if you're a small business. I don't want to spend money. I don't want a bookkeeper. I don't want an accountant. Yep. That costs mm-hmm. too much. I'll do it myself. Yep. Yeah, I think, you know, first starting out, there's a lot of uh, ways that you guys can um, 
get results on Instagram. So I just want to maybe teach them a couple of tricks. Um, the main thing is like, you know, beginning with the end in mind, like keeping in mind, like what is the audience that you really want to reach now? Um, by using what's called hashtags. Now, you you guys have all heard of like Google and SEO and, you know, everybody's trying to rank on the first and second page. So like when they type in, um, you know, like a product, like a uh, whey protein, you see all of these different companies listed on the first page of Google and they're paying millions and millions of dollars to do that, right? Now this shift from Google to Instagram is moving faster than ever before. And so Instagram has this uh, search tool bar like Google. So pretty much you can search like fitness supplements and all of these different companies and whey proteins will be popping up. So what you guys want to do is like when... And are they paying for that too? No. They're not no. paying for that. Okay. It's free. So okay. there's a cool way that you guys can do this uh, for free. Um, you are now paying for it on Google though, <laughs> yeah, however. All through hashtags. So by growing your communities on on Instagram and by using hashtags that have a smaller number of posts, like you know, let's say 50,000 to 100,000 posts, um, and using what's called engagement groups, basically um, getting a, a group of friends and other people that are in the same niche and market as you to like and comment on each other's photos. And so it's like a it, it's like a group that helps you rank for these different keywords that people are searching what's it called? for. These, these are called engagement okay, groups. Okay, so look up engagement groups if you don't know what that means because yes. I'd have to look that up because yes. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, and so this this definitely helps Boy, people. Who has time to do all this stuff? <laughs> yeah. That's it's why, that's new, why uh, that's, you got to learn the new terms. It's the, right? I, can, I can barely yeah. read the headlines of the newspaper. <clears throat> so you get so the, the, the mm-hmm. game is to get as many followers into your community so that then you can sell them whatever you want to sell them. Is that the name yeah, of the game? The influencers. Yeah. Yeah, and the main thing is like it, so there's a f- few different ways to promote your products. One, I suggest building and growing your own page. Two, working with influencers to promote your product and service and having them create user-generated content that you can post on your own page. And three is with ads, you know, you're using Instagram ads and Facebook ads. Ads or apps? Uh, ads, advertisement. Oh. You, you also so, well, said... that costs money, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and something else that costs money, but this was really interesting. Yeah. You said you can buy like 100,000 followers? So what my company does is we basically help people grow their accounts organically and through influencers. They're called fake followers. Right? So there's a lot. Of, so <laughs> let me. <laughs> so, yeah, you just wrote the book fake. So yeah. that, that, that was a plug for my latest book, fake. Yes. There's fake there's Very subtle. There's very a lot subtle. of fake followers everywhere. A lot of fakeness, a lot of fake companies out there. Um, we're not one of them. We're actually like, <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> we actually do real stuff, right? And we actually make people people real money and that's why people hire us that's why you know companies like risk carlton hire us so we grow them so, and and so help now, them monetize. how did you find a how did you find a customer for ritz carlton like right. i i love the ritz carlton yeah you know? i was it doesn't take me it doesn't take much to convince me to stay there yeah and so it so you've probably heard of people like you know rock dwayne johnson <laughs> right. all of these guys that are selling their own shoes and different products that they're promoting now like uh and so what they do is it's all through instagram so they pretty much post about their new shoe their new product on instagram and all of their fans buy their new shoe and they sell out in 24 hours the same thing is with ritz carlton let's say that they're targeting uh like let's say that we're uh talking about ritz carlton in bali and so that's about three hours away from australia which is a huge market so what we would do is basically bring over a bunch of australian celebrities to come to Bali for free and promote about their experience at the Ritz Carlton in Bali and then they would promote it to all of their followers saying hey I, I love this hotel or I love love this restaurant and pretty much their followers will want to follow them wherever they go so you guys so assistagram would hire who's that who was that guy who started in the gladiator the, the Australian actor oh Russell oh, Crowe Russell, Russell Crowe Crow. So Russell Crowe's Aussie, I think. Yes. Yeah. So you would get him, and he'd say, "I love the Ritz Carlton in Bali." Yeah, that's that's a that's an example, right? But what we do instead is instead of putting our eggs all in one basket and paying someone like Russell Crowe would cost millions, we actually find what's called a micro influencer, people who have let's say twenty thousand followers to hundred thousand followers, 
and we create an army of them, you know, for, for okay. from Australia, for example, to come and post. Kim's got twenty thousand followers in Australia. She yeah. loves her. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. oh, there you go. Well, Kim. <laughs> well, let's let's talk. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Yeah. So that's one way that we do it. So why can't the Ritz Carlton do it by themselves? Well, the thing is, is that because they went don't to college, right? Well, so <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is that um, there's other pieces to the puzzle, right? So one part of there's about 13 different things that you have to do to create a successful campaign. One is, you know, bringing influencers. One is growing organically. So instead of actually paying for placement to pay these influencers co- come and post about it, what's better is to create your own Instagram asset. And that's what most of these companies don't know how to do. Is they don't know how to grow in-house. It's he makes a key point there. It is hard, and I'll say two things. I'll see if one, one if if you agree with. It's hard to find talent out there now that understands this. Number one, and if you do find that talent, Understand most of them how to make your own little fun. yeah your how little micro groups your... and create all this. And also, most of those people that do really good at it open their own agencies. They usually don't want to be locked down to one company and one job. They want the freedom of of that mobile life. Is that a fair statement? Yeah. Yep. So it's a little different. It makes recruiting that talent, especially in house, a lot and, a lot harder. And I know we're almost out of time. What's one thing you're going to do for Rich Dad? Well, we're gonna blow up your accounts and get you guys a ton of followers that are actually interested. Real in followers. Investing, real followers. That are real people that actually engage. Um, so we're going to help you guys grow your communities on Instagram. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're on. How did you find uh, this gentleman here, Zach? As I said at the beginning of the show, we are always researching new companies and, and for new opportunities ideas and new and, ideas of what right. they do and what they offer. And when Zach came across um, on a just typical due diligence we were piqued uh, by what he was doing, and not just that, but who he was working for, certainly the Rich Carltons and, and people like that. Um, and his connections and relationships with those platforms were strong with us. And then we go through the normal process where we get on the phone with them. You know, we're big people finders, if you will. I was right. trying to find a better way to phrase that. And we connected with Zach right away. And so, that, that makes a difference to us. So and Zach wasn't about just making money. Yeah. And he wanted to help us. One of the reasons Shane is a president of Rich Dad, because I wouldn't know where to look anyway, would I? No. <laughs> no. So, so that's one of the, the things today because today you're obsolete in less than 18 months, I think, a lot of the time. Yep. you got to keep moving. Yeah. So all of you out there who are small entrepreneurs with a cell phone, you know, I would contact um, – how do they get a hold of you there, uh, Zach? I mean, you have www.assistogram.us. Yeah. What happens if they call you? Are you going to call them back personally or – yeah, exactly. Let's, so you, let's have a follower following of 20. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you guys can go to the website and yeah, all the information's out there, just everything from case studies and different brands and companies that we've worked with, um, and then plus some Instagram tips and tricks that you can actually use that's free to actually improve your Instagram. So that's the best way to, to get a hold of us is uh, assistogram.us, and then you can uh, send us a message and the team will reach out to you. Thank you. And with Rich Dad, you know, we're not selling for Zach. We just tell you what we do here because we're in the new sharing economy. And we want to assist all of you guys as becoming as successful as possible. So I, I thank you for your time. I thank you for doing with Rich Dad. And so we come back, we've been going with the most popular part of our program, which is Ask Robert. You're listening to the Rich Dad Radio Show with Robert Kiyosaki. Don't be like Charlie. Charlie is that do-it-yourselfer who does himself in. Do-it-yourself is good for tile and grout. It is not good for asset protection. Charlie thought he'd save a few dollars forming his LLC online. With no guidance, he did it wrong. When he sold the property, he lost thousands and thousands of dollars. He did himself in by trying to do it himself. Don't burn yourself. Use Corporate Direct to set up and maintain your LLCs and corporations. Corporate Direct is owned and operated by attorney and rich dad advisor, Garrett Sutton. Garrett wrote the bestsellers, Loopholes of Real Estate and Start Your Own Corporation. He is Robert Kiyosaki's attorney for asset protection. He and his team will do it right. Visit them at CorporateDirect.com or call 800-600-1760. Mention Rich Dad and receive $100 off your formation fee. That's CorporateDirect.com. CorporateDirect.com. 
financial freedom begins with financial education. Now back to Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad Radio Show. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. And all of our programs are archived at the Rich Dad at richdadradio.com. We archive them so you can listen to this program again because we're only a financial education company. We don't sell anything but financial education. We don't sell advice or investments. And if you listen to this program one more time, you'll learn twice as much because repetition is how we learn. But most importantly, if you have friends, family, especially business associates who are looking to make more money on the World Wide Web, this is your program. So once again, that's richdadradio.com. And now we're coming to the most popular part of our program, which is Ask Robert where you get to ask me your questions, and you can ask Robert again at richdadradio.com. And in the studio with us today is Shane Kdigler, the president of Rich Dad, and we have Zach Benson, he's the founder and CEO of Assistagram, and uh, Melissa is out for the day. So, Tony, what's the first question for Rich Dad? Ask Robert, excuse me. Robert, our first question comes from Ty. He's in Crystal Lake, Illinois. His favorite book is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He says, I've read all of your books, Robert, but I'm one of your old fans. How has the Rich Dad Company evolved in this age where everybody's attention span is so scattered? That's a very, very good question. I think the most important thing is you have to, again, use the media that people are listening to and watching to, and it's now short form, like 30 seconds. Right, Shane? Yes. And also, I think you have to say something because you know most of the news today is fake. I mean, I, I listen to it. It's all sensationalism. You, know, you watch Fox, they say, Fox TV says something, and CNN says exactly the opposite, and you got nothing but shock stuff. So today, I, I look at television and radio and all that. It's, it's like the Jerry Springer show. It's not, it's just entertaining, just entertainment today. And you know, for two, three, two years ago, Bernie Sanders was considered radical. Bernie Sanders he was talking about free everything for everybody. Bernie Sanders looks like, looks like conservative now because all the candidates who hope to unseat Donald Trump have to get more radical. So really, you have to say something that actually grabs somebody's attention. Any comments, Rick? Yeah, um, you know, I look back on all the so 22 years of Rich Dad. We had companies before that, but you know, we were giving when we came out with Rich Dad Poor Dad in the back of Rich Dad Poor Dad it said send us your name and address and we will send you a free audio cassette tape and that's how we got our started building our database People right don't know audio cassettes are today right but here's my point is the audio tape had a lot of value to it and even to this day we give away a lot of free information we just have to do it with different tools and in shorter spurts and even Zach was saying on your website, assistagram.com or assistagram.us, you give away free tips on how to use Instagram. I think as long as we keep giving value, you just the tools are going to change on how we do it. I think that's a key point. And to answer a question, as Shane says, you have to keep looking for the new guy coming up, right? Yep. Any all the time. On that? Yep. Uh, Kim and Robert just touched on it. The one advantage Rich Dad has is that we've been saying the same message for years. So we don't have to change our message. It's the platform and the tool we use to get it out there. So we do everything we can to stay on top of that, to find the latest and the greatest, to follow the trends, and to make sure we're, uh, you know, Robert and Kim's gift is to simplify this message and tell it in little blurps. So actually, today's platforms are a huge benefit to us. So our goal of, of just keeping on top of things is, is probably the best answer we can get to that yeah. question. And what, what Shane is saying is that, you know, you got to be true to your brand. Rich Dad is a contrarian brand. I mean, we're a rebel brand. And just two days ago, my friend, he's called, called the governor of Arizona, just signed into law that financial education will now be part of Arizona's school system. Well, this is 22 years after I talked about financial literacy. So we're now coming, our message is now coming true but I'm not gonna to go to the school system. I'm still gonna be true to my brand. I still think going to school for most people is a waste of time if you wanna be rich. You have to be a doctor, a lawyer, you have to go to school. You wanna be an employee, you should go to school. But you wanna be an entrepreneur and you wanna make a lot of money, you really don't have to go to school. Now if suddenly I went into the school system and I became the new guru for public <laughs> education, Shane, what would happen to our brain? Uh, <laughs> it would be fun to watch, actually. <laughs> you traitor! Yeah, yeah, it would kill us. It would destroy us. So I got, I got a question for Zach. So, <laughs> wait, so wait, Zach, you understand that I, I am true to my brand. Yeah, 
I love it. I love okay? it. Like Ritz Carlton is true to their brand. Mm-hmm. They don't sell discount hotel rooms, right? Good. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The way the Rich Dad Company has evolved, we know what our brand stands for, and we stay true to our brand. We don't, like Kim and I know, there's a couple of these so-called financial experts. They're always changing their message. Depending you know I mean? on what's, what's most popular at the time. Yeah, yeah these flaky <laughs> guys. You know. But anyway, I'll mention their faking names. <laughs> but we stay current, but we're true to our brand. So that's that's one thing that we're doing, but we're changing platforms, looking for the new guy coming up. Right, and through the evolution, we talk about the evolution, so I want to ask Zach, what is the evolution? What's the future of social media? What do we need to pay attention to and be looking for in the near future? Yeah, so I think Facebook, Instagram, they're going to be around for a while. These are legendary companies run by legendary people, and you know, they've really created something that's going to be built to last, and they'll be around for a very, very long time. I think you'll start to see um, maybe some other platforms just like with AI and different softwares that are coming out where it's going to be like maybe a, they're going to create a different way of communication where people can communicate in, um, <laughs> in virtual reality and all of these other things that are coming out. Um, You're not yeah. waiting for us deep fake. Yeah. Deep you know? fake. What is deep fake? Jeez, I'm way ahead of Kim. <laughs> <laughs> no, d- deep fake is you can get, you know, Kim Kardashian speaking to Brad Pitt and saying how much they love Rich Dad Poor Dad. Oh, my goodness. But it's not them speaking. It's, it's just deep. It's fake, 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 right? That's, yes. that's what deep fake is. Yeah, there's a lot of fakeness out there. Um, so it's I think deep, deep, deep fake. <laughs> yeah, that's the deep, deep fakeness. But yeah, I think it's um, gonna, so just evolving yeah. into more of a virtual, more to the virtual reality type platforms, the VR stuff. Is yeah. that what yeah. is that we're saying? But I see do you that think happening. that they will? Do you think that those will put a dent in and pull like daily users out of those well, Instagram and Facebook? Well, that's why I said like uh, I mean, Facebook, Instagram will still be around for a very, very long time because they've created their own VR tools and systems. So they're evolving as part yeah. of it. Yeah. So those companies are so big that. Pretty much any time somebody comes out with something new, they, they buy them. They buy, buy <laughs> yeah. them or they, they, buy they, them. they copy it and make it better. They, they steal it, it yeah. and they add their own style to yeah. it. So I was speaking of fake. My book, Fake, was just released on April 8th, 2019, which is 22 years after Rich Dad, Poor Dad was launched. And again, it's true to the brand. Fake money, fake teachers, and fake assets. It's really about how Wall Street rips off the suckers out there how the banks create fake money, and how our teachers know nothing about money and they're teaching you about kids. So I'm true to my brand. I will not, not change it. So at your bookstores or Amazon right now, you can get fake and keep changing because the world is changing. So I want to thank Zach, uh, Shane, and Kim. And you can submit your questions. And all of you, you can submit your questions to Ask Robert at richdadradio.com. And thank you all for listening to today's program.